I love a good comparison video. And if you're confused about whether you should go with QuickBooks or FreshBooks, this video is for you. Now, these platforms may sound similar. They're both accounting platforms, but they're actually geared towards very different types of people. And as with any software choice, if you choose the wrong one, it could cost you time, money, and create lots of frustration. Hi everybody, I'm Jamie Trull, CPA turned financial educator for small business owners. And today we're gonna dive into all things FreshBooks versus QuickBooks so you can make the best decision for you. Now, I'm actually a partner with both of these companies, but I want you to pick the one that makes the most sense for you. And that's why I'm creating this video. And make sure to stay with me until the end, because at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you about the one main mistake that I see business owners make when it comes to choosing accounting software and how to avoid it so that you don't waste time and money switching over later. Importantly, I don't just make content about accounting platforms. I actually use them. So like I said, I'm a partner with both companies and I've been a partner with QuickBooks and a user of QuickBooks Online for years. And I've made lots of content on this channel specifically about QuickBooks Online, but I love experimenting with new tools. And when my audience asked me for about the millionth time to look at various different alternatives to QuickBooks, I said, you know what? That sounds like fun. So I've actually been doing my bookkeeping in multiple different systems this year so that I can accurately compare and contrast who those systems are best for and bring this type of content to you. So first, let's talk about what they are. So I see QuickBooks as kind of like the Swiss Army knife of accounting software. It's powerful, fully featured, and customizable, but it can also sometimes be a little bit overwhelming, especially if you're not super familiar with bookkeeping. Now, FreshBooks, on the other hand, I see as something that was really designed for simplicity. It's really ideal for service providers, creatives, freelancers who want something user-friendly, but that is still professional and meets their needs. Now let's talk features. And these are the things that you're gonna be using on a daily basis, and they really do differ between these accounting platforms. Obviously, both of these is going to be able to create your tax time reports like a profit and loss and track all of your income and expenses. That's kind of a given with accounting software. But accounting software these days does a lot more than just that. So you really want to look at the features and figure out how they fit your needs. So in terms of features, let's talk about invoicing. Both do have invoicing capabilities. FreshBooks has really built their invoicing for service-based businesses. And I really love that they have simple, polished invoices and lots of automation options for reminders and things like that. QuickBooks also has invoicing, but if you need invoicing for, say, product-based businesses, it is going to have more to support those of you who are selling physical products. Now, expense tracking and bank reconciliations. I'd say both do this well. Now, QuickBooks is gonna offer a little bit more customization and more direct bank connections, but I would say that FreshBooks is actually quite a bit easier to learn. And I've also found it to be way less error-prone than QuickBooks. And now time tracking. One thing I love is that this is built right into every level of FreshBooks. So you don't have to be on a higher plan. However, QuickBooks is going to require that you be on a higher plan or have a separate tool for time tracking. And time tracking for projects in FreshBooks is actually built specifically for creatives and freelancers, making it really functional and easy to use. The cool thing is that you can bill your time to a project and then add it to an invoice with just the click of a button, which I think is a super cool and useful feature. Because I liked them so much, I actually did a deep dive into some of the invoicing and project tracking capabilities in FreshBooks. So if you wanna see more behind the scenes and actually see me demo how that works, definitely go check out this video next. Now let's talk about reports. Now, both of them have robust reporting. Although if you go with FreshBooks, I do recommend that you go with at least FreshBooks Plus in order to get full financial reports, including a balance sheet. So in order to get that double entry bookkeeping, you will want to be on the Plus version of FreshBooks or higher. While FreshBooks Lite might be sufficient for really simple businesses or just getting started, as you grow, you're likely going to need more extensive reporting than what you can get in Lite. 
And with QuickBooks Online, all of the different levels are going to come with all those general accounting and financial reports. So there's tons of different reports that you can run in QuickBooks. So that's features. And as you can see, they're built for specific audiences. So it really just depends on what you need. Now let's go to user experience. I would say FreshBooks is sleek and simple. Well, QuickBooks is powerful, but with a learning curve. So think of it like this. FreshBooks is like a shiny new iPhone, while QuickBooks is more like a DSLR camera. Both are amazing and have great picture quality, but one of them is easier to just pick up and use. While people often complain about the learning curve of QuickBooks, FreshBooks is a lot easier for the end user to get the hang of without having to do lots of trainings. On to pricing, and this is an important one. FreshBooks is going to tend to be more affordable with similar features. Like I said before, it includes things like time tracking or estimates in most plans and can really scale with you. On the other hand, QuickBooks has been increasing its prices steadily over the years. In fact, I just got yet another notice that they're going to be increasing their price this year. Now, in my opinion, QuickBooks Plus is actually the best bang for your buck when you're looking for features, but it does come at a higher price point than all of the FreshBooks plans. So what's that one big mistake I see all the time? Well, it's choosing a software based on name recognition rather than how you actually run your specific business. Now, if you're a business that sells goods or products, if you're well-versed in accounting, or if you're gonna be working with a bookkeeper who will be doing your accounting for you, then QuickBooks Online may be a match for you. Because of its popularity, it is number one in the marketplace right now in the US. It is the easiest to find an accountant or bookkeeper who knows how to use QuickBooks. However, I am finding that FreshBooks does have a growing number of bookkeepers and accountants who are familiar with it. And if you'd prefer to use an accountant who is certified in FreshBooks, FreshBooks can actually help connect you to one based on your needs. And if you're going to be doing your own bookkeeping, then you wanna make sure to pick a system that's going to work for you. If you do choose down the line to outsource that later, more than likely you will be able to find a certified professional in any accounting software that you choose. So all in all, it really depends on your business and what is most important to you. But if you are a service-based business, a coach, a freelancer, a creative, FreshBooks is actually built for you. So again, just because QuickBooks is all over the place, make sure that you're choosing based on what actually makes the most sense for your type of business. Now, if you are thinking, you know what, actually I think FreshBooks may be a better choice for me, but I'm currently on QuickBooks and the idea of switching is really scary, then don't worry, I got you. I actually made a video of using my own books as an example of how to move from QuickBooks into FreshBooks and you can do it in under an hour. So make sure to check that video out as well. Now, if you found this video helpful, please, please, please make sure to hit the like and the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. I talk a lot about various tools and comparisons and tutorials, so definitely make sure you're subscribed. And I also happen to negotiate some of the best deals out there. So if you decide you want to sign up for FreshBooks, for example, then definitely go check out jamietrell.com forward slash FreshBooks, where as of right now, you can get 90% off for four months. Now that is limited time, it may change, but go to that website and see what you can save on FreshBooks if you sign up with my link. Now, if you're still deciding and you are a person that wants to analyze it a little bit more before jumping into anything, you can go check out my comparison of multiple different accounting softwares over at jamietrollcom forward slash accounting, where I even have a decision tree that walks through what might be best for you based on your specific situation. Now, let me know in the comments, what system are you currently using for your accountant? And are you currently considering switching? And what questions do you have? Thanks again for joining me and I will see you next time.